Okay, right here is a 1973 Unit Rig M100. Unit Rig and Equipment Company was established in 1935 to build oil well servicing equipment. The company entered the off-highway truck market in 1963 with the introduction of the model M85, an 85-ton capacity electric drive off-road mining truck that was the first to support Unit Rig's trademark name, Lectra Hall. The M85 went into full production in 1964, and the following year, in 1965, Unit Rig launched an even larger mining truck, the M100, which is what you are looking at right here. This particular M100 is retired and now sits on display in Minnesota as a monument to the iron mining industry. Now, let's go and get a closer look at an M100. The M85, M100, and also the larger M120 all incorporated the same basic frame design. In fact, the only major difference between the M85 and M100's frame was that the M100 utilized a more heavy-duty frame with additional plating in key areas to help reduce stress and support the larger payload. Here you can see one of the front nitrogen over oil suspension struts, which will provide suspension for the truck when it's driving. Now unfortunately, because this is a display truck, as you can see, the front access stairway has been removed to prevent visitors from climbing on top of the truck. So because of this, I will not be able to take you up inside of the cab and show you around inside. On the front nose of the truck, you can see the plate that says M100. right side of the truck, here you can see the two air intakes and air cleaners for the engine. The standard diesel engine options for the M100 included the Cummins VTA 1710C V12 diesel engine and the Detroit 12V 149NA also a V12 diesel engine, both rated at 725 horsepower. A more powerful Detroit 12V 149T was also offered with a power rating of 920 horsepower. This M100 is Caterpillar powered, and the engine that you are looking at under the hood right here is a model D348 V8 diesel engine. Now, let's talk about the early experimentation that was done on the M100 program. In an attempt to offer customers a mining truck with a more high horsepower engine than what was currently available in the early 1960s, Unit Rig became the first heavy equipment manufacturer to experiment with gas turbine engine power for off-road mining trucks. And the first prototype test truck was the M100. The first M100 built was equipped with an IH solar gas turbine engine. The second M100 utilized a General Electric model LM100 gas turbine engine that boosted 1,200 horsepower. 
The second turbine-powered M100 was displayed at the American Mining Congress show in Las Vegas, Nevada in 1965 behind a large banner that read, The Truck of the Future is Here Today. The third and final turbine-powered M100 was shipped in 1967. This unit utilized the same turbine engine as the first unit. Unit rig later abandoned gas turbine engine tests and switched over to diesel power for the M100. This was primarily due to the turbine engine's high upfront capital cost along with its high fuel consumption, which was seen to be uneconomical at the time. The first diesel-powered version of the M100 appeared in 1966. And in 1967, Unit Rig first tested trolley power on the M100. And if you look right here on the side of the rim, you can see where it says, Unit Rig. And to help give you an idea of the size of an M100, this truck measures 16 feet 9 inches tall from the ground to the top of the canopy over the operator's cab and 17 feet wide. The standard rock box for the M100 was rated at 100 ton capacity, and Unit Rig also offered an optional high volume coal box for the M100, which allowed this truck to carry up to 110 tons of coal on its back. The General Electric DC electric drive system for the M100 consisted of a GE Model GT603 generator and a pair of GE Model 772 traction wheel motors in the rear wheel hubs. The M100 would go on to become one of the most successful mining trucks ever produced by Unit Rig. In 1977, the M100 received a redesigned operator's cab, along with newer, more powerful engine configurations, which included the Cummins KTA 2300C and the Detroit 12V149TI, rated at 1,075 and 1,070 horsepower, respectfully. The overall empty operating weight of early model M100s was 55 tons. However, over the years, with improvements and upgrades made to the truck, the overall empty operating weight of the M100 increased up to 66 tons. By the time the M100 was discontinued in 1982, nearly 1,100 M100s had been built and put into service all around the world. But there she is, one of the most successful mining trucks ever produced by Unit Rig, a 1973 Lectrahall M100.